Hey guys, this is Randy. Uh, we're back with another modification on the 600 CFM four barrel. Uh, look guys, as always, please like and comment and subscribe. Also, if you would, if you'd like to help support our channel, our cash app is in the description below and any anything would be appreciated. And, and also, I, I want to take a moment to say thank you for all my subscribers and all our followers on YouTube. I, I really, really appreciate you guys. Wouldn't even be possible without you. So thank you much. All right, now this one here, what we're going to do, we're going to keep tricking it out. This is a 600 CFM 1850 list. It's 1850-3. Now, what I've done, this, this body here is a 600, same thing. And you can see there's no idle circuit right here. There's no drill right there, and there's nothing drilled there. See where the hole is on the gasket? I left that there for you. You have to center punch it. What I do, I'll glue the gasket on there and get it just as straight as I can with a little bit of glue just to keep it in place. Then I'll center punch these holes right here for the idle circuit. Then I'll come over here and I'm going to set a gasket right here. And now I don't know if I have it lined up perfect, guys, but I'll try to do my best here. I'm looking over overhead here. There, that's pretty close. And then I'll center punch these two outside holes right here. Right here and right over there. And that's what I've done right here. I just, in fact, I just got through doing it. You can look at it here. And you can see the holes. I hope I've got them centered pretty close. But there's the two outside holes right here is the idle circuit. This is the transfer slot. They're already there. But the idle circuit has to be drilled. And it has to be drilled from the bottom side and the top. It's better to try to get the, the depth on the on this side. What I do, I get the depth on this side first, and I try to get it the even amount. And the, and you can actually come over here, and you can get a, a little bit of a, a, a depth on the actual transfer slot. It ain't. It's a little deeper for the idle circuit because it's at a different curvature here. But anyway, you you want you what you want to do is just don't over drill and go into the to the actual carpet inside the the barrel side then bottom of the main body but also there's one other thing now on the diaphragm side you usually don't have no problem drilling this hole through here and and this hole here right there you usually don't have no problem because you got more meat on this side because of the the actual vacuum secondary bolting up but now on this side right here it's a different story all right i'm gonna show you what i got here look You'll see this drill bit come right out the side. Now, can can they see that, cameraman? Mm-hmm. All right, and then I drill through this side too. You can see where it is. It's coming right out of the casting. So I'm to, tonight I'm gonna fill this up with epoxy and let it dry for at least 24 to 48 hours, and then I'm gonna finish drilling these through there, and and it'll be good. I've done it many times, but you do have to fill in this area right in here with epoxy. I usually put a little above it too, but all you really have to do is go, I believe right there at the very bottom, but I usually add a little bit extra. Yeah. You don't have to, it's up to you. But anyway, to put this hole in there, you have to, you're going to have to put epoxy in it and, and set there and let it dry and then drill through it nice and smooth and that'll complete this circuit for the idle circuit. And when we get through with that, then, that, then that's all the mods we need right now on the main body. We're going to, uh, let me see here. We got the gasket. All that's good. And we've matched all that up. Everything lines up great. Right there. And uh, the metering block, we're going to use it as a primary metering block. It is uh, right here. This is just another 600 primary metering block. That's all it is. And we're going <clears> to, <throat> it's already got the, out of screws and all in because it's on the primary side so we'll block the power valve here we're going to do it and i've got i think i've got that sitting here already here's the gasket and the power valve block off we're going to block it we're not going to use that and then when we get get past this point i'm going to have to i'm going to have to show you a few more things we're going to have to do like on the on the throttle body there is some mods we're going to have to do. While we're epoxying this side here on the main body, we're going to epoxy right anywhere in here. Right in here on each side. 
This is coming from the front to the rear on the idle circuit. If you don't block this anywhere in here where it can't go back and forth, you'll never have a separate four corner idle circuit. In other words, it'll be pulling fuel from here to the back, from the back front. It you can't you can't control it with your adjustments. So we'll put epoxy in here and then we'll smooth it off after it dries and that'll take care of that. They usually put a little peg in here from the factory on the older double pumpers that had four corners. A lot of them that had four corners. But they'll put a peg, but the epoxy works fine. You just have it level with the top of it and it, it stops it just that quick. Now, <clears throat> that's gonna give us our four corner idle circuit and I'm gonna show you, now in here, you, look guys, you the, the drilling these holes here, You'll be better off if you center punch them real careful with that gasket and then put them, if you've got a drill press, do it on a drill press. Take your time, mock everything up and drill through there nice and smooth where you'll come through both sides. And look at it carefully because it don't line up absolutely perfect. This hole here, the idle hole, idle circuit, and this one don't line up perfect. So you have to, you can kind of tell there, it kind of comes in at an angle, a little bit of an angle, not, not much, but a little. Take your time because you don't have but one shot at this. And then the next next part, I'm trying to do these in small parts where it kind of, you, you can go back and just look over small parts and not have to take all day through looking at one long video. Now we're going to also modify the air bleeds. We'll do that the next part. We're going to, actually we're going to make them square. We're going to, if we got 70 up front on the idle, we're going to have 70 here. If we have, uh, I think I had, what, 31s in the front. And 28s back here is what come factory. So this is going to be 31s too. And it might even come out of here more than that. It might be 32 or 33 when I get through. But after we get through all this, then we got to get it all tuned out. And uh, we'll, we'll see how everything goes. This There might be something here y'all going to like at the end of this, this uh, build. I've got to get it tuned afterwards. But uh, we might do a raffle on it. I, I don't know yet. I, I don't want to commit to it. But I, I believe we're going to do something like that. Look, guys. We're, we're through with this part, and, and comment, like, subscribe, please. Please subscribe. That helps us, and uh, I'll see you for part three right shortly. Thank you.